Here's an application problem that deals with area and perimeter. A garden is rectangular with a width of 12 feet and a length of 6 feet. If it is surrounded by a walkway 2 feet wide, how many square feet of area does the walkway cover? So if the inner rectangle represents the garden, we could say that this length here and this length here is 12 feet. And the length of this side and this side would be 6 feet. The last thing we're given is that the width of the walkway is two feet. So this length here, 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 and here would all be two feet. And our goal is to determine the area of the entire walkway or this yellow region. So from this sketch, to determine the area of the walkway, we need to determine the area of four different rectangles. We'll call this rectangle one, two, three, and four. And the area form of the rectangle is length times width. So if we look at rectangle one and rectangle two, notice they're going to have the same area. And looking at rectangle one, to determine the entire length of this side here, it would be six feet plus two feet plus two feet. So this entire length would be ten feet. So this rectangle has the dimensions of 10 feet by 2 feet, which would be an area of 20 feet squared, but rectangle 2 has the same area, so the area from rectangle 1 and 2 would be 40 feet squared. Again, this is from rectangle 1 and 2. And then for the area of rectangle 3 and 4, looking at rectangle 3, the rectangle is going to have the dimensions of 12 feet by 2 feet, 12 feet times 2 feet would be 24 feet squared. But again, rectangle 4 has the same area, giving us a total of 48 square feet. Again, this is from rectangle 3 and 4. So the sum of these two areas would be the area of the entire walkway. So it looks like we have 88 feet squared for the area of the yellow walkway. I hope you found this helpful.